Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin arrived at the launch pad in Teslas, painted to match their spacesuits. The two veteran astronauts are now on board the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule for the first manned launch from U.S. soil in nine years. This is a unique opportunity to bring all of America together in one moment in time and say, look at how bright the future is. Propelled by the Falcon 9 rocket, Hurley and Bankin will accelerate to 17,000 miles per hour on a rendezvous to the International Space Station. 24 hours after liftoff, they'll be greeted by colleague Chris Cassidy on the ISS. SpaceX is the first private company to send American astronauts into orbit, and CEO Elon Musk feels the weight of that responsibility. Uh, it weighs very heavily. Um, that's really all I can think about right now. I really kind of have to kind of mentally block it because otherwise the, the, it would be emotionally impossible to deal with. Musk spoke with the astronauts as they suited up for the flight, which NASA says will open the door to America's return to the moon and beyond. All of this ultimately is for a purpose, and that is to get to Mars. Hurley flew the final shuttle mission in 2011 and has spent years training on the new technology. Most of the controls for the crew inside the, inside the, the cockpit are all touchscreens. We do have a few hardware buttons and switches for very, very critical things, but almost everything is controlled by, by touch and screen. That's even how you fly it. For nearly a decade, American astronauts have had to hitch rides on Russian rockets. Now that a private company is handling transportation, NASA says it can focus on the science of space exploration. Skyler Henry, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center.